Good afternoon, and please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the University of Central Lancashire, I'm delighted to warmly welcome you to this graduation ceremony. And on this special day, we are here to proudly celebrate the achievements of our students, our graduates. I now call upon our Provost, Ibi Adia, to deliver his address. Eminent guests, graduates and families, colleagues and friends of UCLAN, good afternoon. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you all to our graduation ceremony. Graduates, well done. You have done it. And soon you will have a piece of paper to prove that you have really done it. Once you get to be as old as I am, you worry about forgetting things. But rest assured, one thing you will never forget is this special day. A special day because we are all creating a little bit of history, as this is the first time that UCLAN has held its own graduation ceremony for its growing campus in Burnley. And to give you the best send-off possible, we've been able to hold it in this amazing setting that is Townley Hall. We take great pride in each of you and in your achievements. To get to where you are today has been a real test of your stamina and determination to succeed. You have demonstrated dedication and commitment every step of the way, and you have worked tirelessly to get to this defining stage in your lives. Here at the University of Central Lancashire, we are proud of our mission of transforming lives. Founded in 1828 as the institution for the diffusion of knowledge, we have created new possibilities for many thousands of our graduates during our 191 year history. I hope that we have helped to transform your lives and we have opened up new worlds of possibilities by ensuring that you have the relevant knowledge, skills and experiences to thrive, whatever you decide to do next. You leave us today with a high level of confidence, determination and compassion, a greater sense of self and flexibility of mind, which will support you wherever you go and whatever you do. And as you make your way through the world, remind yourselves of the words of the famous Brazilian footballer, Pelé, who said, success is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, a love of what you are doing or learning to do. I hope that you have made the most of every moment of your time here at UCLAN. But don't rush through today. Enjoy every last minute of it. Share special moments with your friends from here and from home and with your families who have been on this journey of learning with you. So before we celebrate your success, let's have a round of applause for all those special people who are celebrating here with you today, your family, your friends and your tutors. Now, graduates, don't worry, all the rest of the applause will be just for you. And so we come to the bit you have all been waiting for, the moment to cherish and to enjoy as you walk across the stage when your name is called as a graduate, and you leave the stage as a graduate of the university. And as you get your degree and start life as one of our alumni, please stay in touch with us 
because you will always be part of the U-Clan family. Thank you. Provost, the presentation of graduands and award holders will now take place. Provost, on behalf of the Academic Board, I present those who have gained awards in the Lancashire School of Business and Enterprise for the degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Business and Management, Stephanie Jane Emsley. <laughs> Megan Salgel. Provost, on behalf of the Academic Board, I present those who have gained awards in the School of Social Work, Care and Community for the degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Children, Schools and Families and with the University Prize, Chantal Basquin. <laughs> Sharish Jabin. Natalie Jane Gowers. Zoe Louise Graham. Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Social Work. Charlotte Stephanie Ashworth. Danielle Gray. <laughs> Janet Elizabeth Harris. <laughs> Kaylee Jane Harwood. <laughs> Nuresa Mumith. Natasha Louise Williams. <laughs> Provost, on behalf of the Academic Board, I present those who've gained awards in the School of Community, Health and Midwifery. For the degree of Bachelor of Science with hon Honours in Health and Social Care, Hannah Wynn. Foundation degree in, in science in health and social care. Assistant practitioner, Laura Jane Brewer. <laughs> Lauren Kathleen Doyle. <laughs> Lindsay Jane Dyer. Laura Bay. <laughs> Tara Louise Marsden. <laughs> Provost, that concludes the presentation of awards. Presentations are completed. I now call upon Tony Attard, a prominent member of the business community 
and Honorary Fellow of the University of Central Lancashire to share some inspiring words with our graduates. Good afternoon. I'm sorry about my voice. Um, this is the problem with uh, international travelling. <clears throat> anyway, good afternoon, deans, provost, directors, teaching staff, parents, guardians, graduates, students, distinguished guests, counsellors, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to thank the university for its kind invitation to address the students today. I'm extremely honoured uh, to be asked, particularly as a newly elected fellow of this great university. And this university is great. It is a major source. I'm having a bit of a Theresa May moment, aren't I? <laughs> um, <clears throat> it is a major source of uh, prosperity and change in Lancashire. I have seen this august educational institution influence the lives of so many people and many areas of our great county. It's truly led by inspirational and informed people that share a vision of Lancashire that promotes prosperity through learning. This special place is Lancashire through and through, with over 50% of its students from Lancashire, 25% of its students from the Northwest, and 25% of its students from other parts of the UK and overseas. The university is recognised globally with connections in many parts of the world. But this new campus in Burnley is a brilliant step forward and demonstrates confidence in the young people from the east of the county. I truly believe that education is the key to unlock social mobility. And as a boy who was initially educated in a comprehensive school and the first person in my family to go to university, and who eventually became High Sheriff of Lancashire, an ancient position that is over a thousand years old. I am a living example of this. I have lived in Lancashire since arriving to study at the University of Manchester in 1976, where I read Textile Design Management. While there, I was introduced to my best friend's sister, who is a Lancastrian lass. We eventually got married and have three boys, all of whom have been educated in Lancashire, and we have made Lancashire our home. And as chairman of Marketing Lancashire, I guess you can call me a born-again Lancastrian. Although Lancashire is our home, my office is global. I have spent more times on planes than I have in my office in Burnley. This access to international markets and travel has truly opened my mind to the opportunity that it brings which is why I have personally been very disappointed with the rise in political popularism that seems to promote nationalism that is inward-looking, insular and protectionist. The sooner we get this constitutional crisis out of the way and remove the economic uncertainty, the better. It will be better for all of us. I subscribe to the Michu Kaku, the physicist, who believes that ultimately we will never be really civilised and live in harmony until we have our one global currency and one global government. But that seems very, very far away at this moment. My company, Panaz, is based in Lancashire with a subsidiary in the USA, but we compete for business in 60 countries. This means that we must be innovative and drive to be the best in all that we do in order to win against global competition. I am very proud <clears throat> of our international success and the relationships that we have built over the years. And we have done this through creating a culture in our business that encourages continual learning and promotes a meritocracy that recognises and rewards the best. That culture has developed a powerful reason for people to stay with us in our business in Lancashire, to develop their skills and to achieve even more success. But all of you in this room, by virtue of the fact that you are receiving your degrees, 
will understand the merits of management and hard work. And you should all be very proud of yourselves because you've made a great step forward today. You're about to start a new chapter in your lives. And if I may, I'd like to give you a few words that have helped, that have helped me. Remember that Edison said, genius is only 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. You could have one idea and it could take you 30 years to fulfill it. Constancy of vision is very powerful. You need to appreciate the power of networks. Meet people because it's who you know as well as what you know. Never be afraid to go over to somebody and say, hello, and introduce yourself. Volunteer. Not only does it give you a great sense of well-being, but it gives you an opportunity to give back to society and make the world a better place. Connect people if you know that they can help each other. Enter awards. It will get you and your organisation noticed locally, nationally and sometimes internationally. If you're going for a meeting or an interview, Google the people that you're going to meet. It's a really great tool. Ask the company that you're being interviewed uh, by what you can do for them, not what they can do for you. Remember, you're not the only ones that can see your social media um, profile. Set yourself goals and targets, short and long term. I have always had three-year and five-year personal and corporate goals. But be disciplined about it. To achieve your true potential, you must be disciplined in your thoughts and actions. And always say yes if you're asked to do something. Opportunities will present themselves to you. Never be afraid to take them particularly if they are outside your comfort zones. You never know, you may become a high sheriff one day. You are about to embark on the toughest tasks of your lives, but you're all individuals. Be ambitious and take advice from people that have been there and done it before you. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to congratulate, of course, all the graduates for attaining your degrees. It's wonderful to acknowledge this moment in the progress of your lives. Be good ambassadors for the university and keep in touch with your alumni organization. I would also like to congratulate the parents and guardians for recognizing the importance of education and the sacrifices they have made to support you. And finally, as chairman of Marketing Lancashire, I'd like to tell you that our next goal to assist Lancashire is to attain City of Culture for, the, for 2025. And if anybody's got any ideas or would like to support our bid in any way, I would love to hear from you personally. Thank you very much. Tony for your inspirational and encouraging thoughts and very wise words. I now call upon Sally Barber who on behalf of Suntosh Core, President of the Student Union, will respond in support of the, of the award holders. Hello everybody. My name's Sally and I am here to deliver a speech on behalf of Suntosh Carr, President of the Students' Union. But before I deliver her words, can I just say how my eyes have been leaking. Nobody told me to wear waterproof mascara today. Um, and I'm just absolutely honoured beyond anything to be here today to share your day with you. And you all look fabulous. Okay, so on with the speech. Firstly, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate you all on this incredible achievement. Getting to this moment is not easy, 
and no doubt a result of your hard work, determination and sacrifice. So you all should be very proud of yourselves. Coming to university for many students was never a dream. And at times, I'm sure you may have questioned, can I really finish this essay? Alongside doing all the ordinary stuff, like being a parent, a carer, having a full-time job, a part-time job, making ends meet. Well, you did. You got that essay in. Well done today. You've proven that you can do it. So well done. Studying is only one part of the university experience. And you've all had the opportunity to make lifelong friends, unforgettable memories, and have experiences, which makes each of your graduations unique and special. So, I want you to remember that feeling that you had when you walked on this stage, that feeling of pride, that feeling of, wow, this is really happening. And I want you to take that with you in whatever you do and wherever you go. Remember that feeling that you've had today. Don't wait for opportunities and experiences to find you. Instead, use the determination and passion that you have shown during your time at university to seek out your future. As graduates of the University of Central Lancashire, each of you strengthens the university's worldwide alumni network. Today's award is a landmark in both your personal and professional development and a stepping stone to your success. I understand that the graduate world at this moment may seem a scary place and you may feel that you're heading towards a place of incertainty and that's okay. No one really knows what they're doing, okay? No one knows for sure. So it's fine to feel unsure. Graduates, I want you to have patience and compassion for yourselves. I want you to remember that life is not a race and that you, and only you, have the power to dictate your life. The most important thing to remember is you've made it this far. And there's no stopping you now, so please never give up. Last but not least, I'd like to thank all the families, friends, the university, the union for all their support, guidance and encouragement that they've given. Graduates, will you please join me in saying thank you. Class of 2019, with all my heart, I wish each and every one of you all the very best for your future. I know it was going to come out. <laughs> Enjoy your day. Create memories. You will remember this day for the rest of your life. Celebrate because you truly deserve it. Well done. Thank you, Sally. How do I follow? <laughs> Luckily, we're going to follow together. Today, of course, is a day of great celebration for everyone here, and we need to celebrate in an appropriate way. Family and friends, and yourself, there is a great photograph video opportunity coming up, so you might like to have your cameras ready. So can I please ask all of the graduates, graduates to stand and take off your mortarboards? We can do a sally. Although yours has not been as wobbly as Sally's was. 
So if we all stand up, all graduates stand up. Take your mortar boards off. And in a moment, do face your families if you would like to, that's, that's okay. I'm going to ask you to wave your mortar board. And as is the tradition at UCLan, you must wave your mortar board as vigorous as the achievements that you have had today. But you must keep a tight hold of your mortar board. <laughs> Why? Because it is now yours to keep and to take home. So on a count of three, I want you to wave your mortar boards in the air, give a hearty cheer, and then we will all follow with a further three cheers. Are you guys ready? Okay, after three. One, two, three. Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! That looked really good. You're going to have some really good photos to, to look at later. So as we bring this ceremony to a close, I would like to thank everyone who has been involved in making today such a happy and memorable occasion. And thank you all for coming and sharing this special day with our university community. The platform party will now be going into the Great Hall and we would like you graduates first to follow us into the Great Hall and then for guests, ladies and gentlemen, to then also follow in a train-like manner where we will, um, we will gather in the Great Hall for ongoing refreshments and celebrations. So thank you very much.